Today on the channel, we unbox Hasbro Lightning Collection Pumpkin Wrapper. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel today on the channel. We're unboxing Power Rangers Lightning Collection Pumpkin Wrapper. And for all your Power Ranger and all your Hasbro needs, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And like I said, we're opening up the Pumpkin Wrapper and this is the first incarnation, or at least the first of two that came out just recently of the monsters in the Power Rangers. So a deluxe figure. I uh, relate these to the Marvel Legends. We got the Deluxe War Machine, Deluxe Apocalypse, Deluxe Black Widow. Uh, primarily at Target, I think those have been, now that I think about it. But a little bit bigger than your traditional packaging. A little bit uh, bigger figure, maybe more accessories. But with all that comes about a $10 more price point. Um, I did pick these up from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, had a great deal on these. They shipped uh, out before the stores got them. These are starting to roll out at Targets. I haven't heard of anybody finding them anywhere else. But I believe they're on the new uh, modular coming up here after Christmas. Um, but some are leaking out early like tends to happen this time of year but very cool that they're going down the monsters path you guys know i'm not a huge power ranger hasbro connoisseur i really want just the original team some putties lord zed rita ivan ooze when he does come i'll pick up a few but i don't go down the dino rangers turbo rangers power rangers in space i don't know anything about it never seen it don't care don't need it that's just me i'm sticking to my own guns of what i do know and I'm by no means a major Power Ranger expert. I just watched the show as a kid. Uh, but I do remember the pumpkin wrapper. And I thought I was all out of the Power Ranger game. I got the original team. I got most of the villains just needing Ivan Ooze. And then they came out of left field on me. I wasn't expecting it. It hit me in the side of the jaw. They're going to start doing these deluxe monsters. So we got King Sphinx and Pumpkin Wrapper together in the first wave. Be really interested to see where they go from there. If these do sell, will people buy these at a $30 price point? Time will tell. People people will answer that question with their wallets like they do on a lot of things. And if people don't want it, there's no takeaway. You won't see more of these. Simple as that. Um, so pick these up uh, if you can, uh, while you can. And if you're a supporter of the Power Rangers, get in on these. Get all after them. Buy them. That makes uh, Hasbro say if people want them, they're going to make more. Simple as that. So here we go. Let's take a look at the packaging right there. There he is, the pumpkin wrapper. Always looks weird with the glamour shot here. I always feel like the head's upside down. Every time I look at it, it just looks strange to me. Typical Power Ranger Lightning Collection uh, graphics and packaging. Obviously just a little bit bigger. You got the three extra heads there, which I think is really cool. Um, you got some accessories there. A skinnier body, not a massive figure by any means. A massive head, that is for sure. This is one also I could see using as Halloween decorations every year. Uh, you get a little double use out of this one. Uh, convince the wife or whatever, or whoever. Say, hey, I'm going to put this on the table for uh, Halloween. And there you have it. So there you go. A little glamour shot on the side. Glamour shot on the other side. Just orange up top. Legalese down here. The back, to me, I don't like it. It's just too plain. There's nothing back here. List King Sphinx. Put him in the corner. Say, also available, King Sphinx. How hard is that? I don't understand. You you spend all this money on packaging. It's not hard to put a little graphic there to promote your own products. Promote the lightning line. Promote what other figures are coming. Do something. Uh, I don't know what's going on with these toy manufacturers and the reason why they aren't promoting like they should be. There's still a few out there promoting, but this is a huge miss on in my eyes because Power Rangers, we got to be honest, it's not a Marvel Legends. It's not a Star Wars Black Series. It's not a WWE it sells, but it doesn't sell to that level. How do you convince people to buy things if you're not promoting them on the side? Simple as that uh, to me. So there you go. Without further ado, let's open this bad boy up. Let's see what uh, this pumpkin's all, what's going on here. See you later. Instructions or something, I don't care. Typical uh, insides with the lightning bolts. Really cool, they match the character. See you later. Oh boy, I didn't see you had the big whip in there. Oh, we're losing stuff, things are falling out. The old plastic prison shot. There he is, the pumpkin wrapper. Let's bust him out. All kinds of stuff in here. Whoa, almost lost the pumpkin. There it is. Even an extra set of hands. You can never have enough hands. He's got extra hands with him. 
action figure. This reminds me of Jake the Snake, Robert Snake, when I see this. See you later. It looks like a snake, but it's uh, more of a lasso to obviously catch the guys, the rangers. Um, first impression here, I'm not sure on these feet. Is this guy even going to be able to stand? Yeah, this guy is going to have a heck of a hard time standing. You're going to have to figure something out. And then right off the bat, I'm not sure on the shoulder articulation. He's got butterfly joints on both sides. Okay. I thought it was only one side. I thought that was going to be a little strange. Head moves. So you got your typical articulation for the most part. Um, boy, I don't like these feet, though. I'm sure they're consistent to what he has. But, boy, those are, I don't know. Let's take a peek here. There he is, a tall figure. Hmm. Very top heavy as you can imagine with this big pumpkin head on top. Very it turns, but it is hindered by his uh scarf type thing he's got. I don't even know what you call it. Um I don't know, I don't know about these shoulders though. You you can only limit your range of motion because of the big head and the shoulder piece, uh the the turtleneck or whatever you want to call it. He can't do a whole lot of movements with his arms. Um, I don't know which hands would be best to use, but you got different lassos to use and stuff like that. So I guess that is cool. Uh, more accessories included in this than I thought there would be. I'm guessing this goes on there. And then you got three pumpkins. You can use these as display just on the ground, you know, around him like that. But you can also, it looks like pop on heads there. So it's got a peg hole. I've got some putties handy. Let's pop their heads off. And there it is. Pops off very simple. And just like that, you can pop those pumpkin heads on. That That's something different. That's cool. That's a nice attention to detail from Hasbro, I think. I think we could all agree on that. Got another putty here from my recent unboxing. So I got two putties. Might have to use my third one. I don't know. There it is. Look at that. Not shabby. Not too bad. Uh, but that's smart on Hasbro. So we talked about the back of the packaging, how I didn't like that. You got to promote your product. Uh, this is kind of good with these extra heads. Uh, it makes people maybe buy some more putties or rangers or whatever they want to use. However, once again, go to the back of that package. Why wouldn't you list this on the package as a feature with uh, pumpkin heads that you can use with your other rangers? Just simple marketing 101. I, I just It boggles my mind. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um, boy, this foot. I don't know. I don't know what I think about these uh, foot. This one is awfully loose on the right. I don't know if he'll fit on a ringside stand i think i'm gonna to have to use a stand on him no matter what i'm not sure how you get him to stay so i do have some gripes about that i mean this is a figure that is going to be one of the hardest figures of the year to stand um i don't know if you need two ringside stands to get him to stand i i don't know i don't like his feet they don't have the the support that he needs they're too skinny he's got his own pumpkin clown shoes on that that is a miss for me um, there we go. I got him to stand, but you're going to have to play around with this one. This one's going to be very, very difficult to stand. Um, I got my pink ranger here. So I guess you could say, oh, there she is. She's all trapped in, uh, in his little, uh, pumpkin cocoon or whatever. There you go. A solid first figure. I don't like the feet. That's my biggest gripe. I don't like the shoulders being hindered. Uh, I love the extra head accessory. I like that. The box packaging is kind of cool. The back needs a ton of work. It gets an F on the back for me. Just having a character shot, we don't need that. We need a little bit more. A description of the character. Maybe reference the episode. A little history of the character. What he represents. Maybe promote your other products. I don't know. Just You should be promoting all the time. You would think... Uh, at least from my experiences in the working real world. Um, that's just me, though. So I don't know. But cool accessories here. A $30 price point. you got to ask yourself, this is the road you want to go down. For me, I'm all in. Like I said, I picked this up at Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, very good uh, price. Very good quality from them, as always. Uh, I enjoy the figure. Just don't like the feet. Don't like the shoulders. And a little packaging thing. But we'll see where the monsters go. Uh, what we get from there. Uh, we also got King Sphinx, which I said earlier. So that's the one-two punch they're beginning with, and we'll see what we get next. So lots of opportunity to grow this. It's just going to be the fans and the collectors will be able to answer with their wallets their thoughts and what they think of this. And speaking of thoughts out there, why don't you guys in the comments below tell me, did you pick this up? Do you have plans to pick this up? Is this a hard pass for you? What are your thoughts? If you do have this, tell me your thoughts. I know Waylon Jennings has one of these. I'm sure he has a lot of thoughts he could put in the comments. 
Waylon, we'd love to hear from you. Put it in the comments below. So there you go. For the putties, the pumpkin wrapper, I'm Rapper Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.